spiritual killing disease among the body of Christ, especially among women in the church. And it's called offense. Mm. Look at your neighbor with a nice cheesy smile because you you got God living in you, so you have to be smiling even when you don't want to be smiling. And just ask it. Have you heard about it? 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 It isn't targeted to any certain race or social status or person with a certain title or family history, or even the level of your spirituality. Amen? Amen. But it is targeted to those who have a purpose to fulfill. Those who have a calling to answer. Mm -hmm. How many in here believe that you have a purpose to fulfill? You got a calling to answer. Mm -hmm. It's, It's directed to those who have a vision. Of where God wants to take them. The devil will not attack those who he knows are not going anywhere. Amen. And he will attack those who are heading somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Look at your name and ask your name, but is this you? Is this this you? you? Because I know it's me. Because I know it's me. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Offense, women of God. I looked up the definition of offense. Can I read it to you? Yes. Yes. I'm going to read it to you even if you said no. (laughs) Offense is resentment brought about by a perceived insult. In other words, Sometimes it may not even have meant to be in an insult, but the way we perceive it, yeah. yes. the way we take it, yes. the way we think about it, yes. it becomes an insult to us. Amen. Offense is a resentment that is brought about by a perceiving insult or disregard for oneself. And what is resentment? Resentment is bitter indignation. At having been treated unfairly. I'm getting somewhere with this. Yeah. Amen. We want freedom. I just ask you, who wants to be yeah. free? Amen. We cannot be free until our mind is free. Amen. I said we cannot be totally free until our mind is, is free. free. In the Jesus name. Because Lord. where your mind leads you, you're going to go. Yeah. Amen. Your mind has so much power over your life. Yeah. That in your life will follow your mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why you have a whole leap of people who are angry, especially women. They're angry because life hasn't been fair. Mm -hmm. Mm. You're angry because things didn't go the way you planned it to go. Yes. You're angry because maybe he left you for another woman. Yeah. You're angry because you lost your job. You're angry because you didn't have a father figure growing up. You're angry because you were abused as a child. You're angry because things ain't going right. You're angry because every friendship you make turns into a betrayal. Amen. And now you don't know anymore who to trust and you're afraid to trust anybody. Yes. Because you have it in your mind that if I trust, I'm going to get betrayed again. Amen. So you, we walk around angry, bitter, frustrated. And all of these things only hinder our spiritual growth. And that's what the devil wants. The devil is not after the people or the situations that you're in. Your problem is not even the problem that you think the problem is. The devil is after you. He's after me. He's got his eyes on us. And how is he going to get to us? He's going to get to us by causing offense. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. I made a note. I said, you know, my God, some people get angry because somebody is testifying for something that they've been praying for and haven't got gotten. I and the Bible yeah. says you got to rejoice with those that rejoice. Yes. Yes. rejoice. Amen. God knows what you're praying for. Yes. God will do it because he has yes. the Oh, 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your testimony is coming. Yes. Hold on. Yes. The devil is trying to get you unfocused. Yes. He's trying to get you all over the place. Because everybody who's all over the place never gets anywhere. Amen. Amen. You're preaching. Are you with me? Yes. And all of these resentments, all of this bitterness and, and anger and frustration feeds the disease called offense. Mm. And if the disease is not dealt with, it will kill you. Amen. It will kill you. Yes. There's a whole leap of people living under stress, physically sick, because their heart is harboring hurt and offense, and they don't want to let it go. Amen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're smiling. But inside you're crying. Amen. Sometimes you're there giving somebody a word of encouragement when you're discouraged. Amen. Sometimes you're going through stuff. And you're there giving somebody else the strength. Yes. When you need somebody to give you strength. Yes. And then you go into your room. You close the door and you begin to cry out to God. And you say, God, what about me? Mm. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we don't even know that we carry this disease until something triggers it. Amen. Sometimes we don't even know we carry offense until something triggers it. Maybe you see the person who hurts you and all of a sudden this thing starts to boil up in you. Yeah. Or you hear that the person who offended you is doing well. And you're still suffering because of what they did. Mm. And their resentment starts, to, and you know when it's starting to boil up inside of you. Because it comes, it starts in here, then it yeah. comes and it comes and it comes and it comes, and then you feel it choking you. Yeah. Yeah. And you just feel it, you just gotta get it out. Like you're gonna cry. Mm -hmm. sure. Your thoughts begun to wander. Have you ever been? In a place where you can go from zero to a hundred in seconds. Mm, yes. Yes. Holy Ghost. Everybody in here, Holy Ghost feel, but everybody flesh and blood too. It depends on who listen, it depends on what kind of offense it was. You can quickly go from zero to a hundred in seconds. Two point one second. And they look at you and they say, what's your problem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Offense. Mm -hmm. 